Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder here as a look at the top stories we are following today. The Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational teed off this morning, but play was suspended because of rain. The LPGA tournament is taking place at the Midland Country Club through Saturday. 72 two person teams will compete for a share of the $2.5 million purse. The Dow GLBI debuted in 2019 as the first official team competition in LPGA history. The tournament is expected to resume later this afternoon. We will have more coverage from round one tonight at five and six. Saginaw police are welcoming its newest canine officer. The city council approved the purchase of Crixus, a Belgian Malinois on Monday. Crixus is two years old and has already started his training program. He will replace canine Debo, who retired earlier this year. His training includes tracking and imprinting with odors for detection work. It will help prepare him to detect drugs and search for lost people. The city says Crixus will start patrol with his human partner very soon. Mount Pleasant police officers are trying to identify the person you see on your screen in a retail fraud investigation. The incident happened on Saturday at Bottle and Barrel Beer Wine Liquor. The suspect is described as 5 foot 8 with an athletic build, glasses and beard. Anyone who can help identify him is asked to call the Mount Pleasant Police Department's anonymous tip line at 989-773-9111. Now here is Matthew Mondro with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Jason. We do have some rainfall moving through on this Wednesday. Certainly a very welcome sight for us. A lot of our farmers have been needing it and our lawns have been needing it too. Now the heaviest part of this rain off into the western and the central thumb right now, but most of that has already ended over in our western counties and our northern counties. But still again, this rainfall has been great, especially farther up north where we've seen some higher totals thus far too. So that rain continues to move off to the east through the mid afternoon. A few spotty pop up showers are still possible close sort of dinner time, but then after dinner into the evening really looks like we dry out mostly clear by then and the mostly clear overnight too. So actually any evening plans that you have that are outdoors are going to be in great shape. Now for today, the rain keeping us a little cooler temperatures largely in the middle 70s for the tri cities and west also for Flint around 77 there over into the thumb. You'll be a little cooler lower 70s around 71 with more of a northeasterly wind today, but still light at 5 to 10 miles per hour Then overnight with our lows falling off into the lower 50s plus the fresh rain and a calm wind. I would expect to see a little bit of patchy fog as you're heading out the door earlier on Thursday morning. Now your seven day forecast is dry on Thursday and on Friday. Pretty comfortable there. Lower 80s for your temperatures with low humidity for the upcoming weekend. Most of our rain chances focus on Sunday and then next week, although we start the week off dry, starting to warm up then in the upper 80s, even close to 90 degrees. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.